Yo, what up, what up? This is the Skycast, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Maria Blues episode. I want to go ahead and give a shout out to my guest today, Maria. She just dropped an album, a solo, her first solo debut album, titled Look Who It Is. It originally came out in December of 2019, and she's been running a string of CD release shows this entire year since January onward. I was actually supposed to host a CD release show for her in my hometown, actually. And well, as everybody knows, with the current climate, the show couldn't go through. But without further ado, this is Maria Blues. Absorb all the game that Maria's giving us, because it's a lot, and it's a lot of good shit. So, I want everybody to have a good weekend, and continue having a great week after, you know what I'm saying? Peace. This is the Scott Cats. Hi, Alejandro. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Hey, what's up, man? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh... You can't see me, huh? I can't see you. Uh, is oh it- my God. Hold on. It's right here. Get out. Get out of here. Okay. I should. Uh... Okay. I, there you go. You can see me now, right? Hi. Yeah. You know, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. Can uh, you just adjust my lighting? For sure. I'm so- always excited, you know, to just promote just anything that can help, you know, the local music. So. This is like my third time using Zoom and I'm still lost. I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> I feel you. I can't freaking log in. All right. <laughs> I got you. Um, so, so uh, let's just, if it's cool, let's just start from the beginning. Where you okay, from? cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. So, so where, 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 like, where did you, fr- like, where are you from? And, and, and I guess what I want to ask, uh, it's kind of particular. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're very production heavy on your album is what I noticed. And so I want to know when you're coming up and you're learning music, what instrument did you start with? Um, well, I'm from South LA. Um, that's basically where I grew up. Uh, you know, we moved around a little bit. Like we moved to HP for like a year and just always ended up back in South Central. So, so I, you know, I say that I'm from South Los Angeles. So that's where I really like know all my friends from and went to school to. Yeah. Um, I would say that I started playing music around maybe I was like 13 or so or around there where where I really like did it on my own type of deal. So my first my first instrument would um, is drums. All so right. um, that's what I started off as a drummer. I kind of liked guitar. I wanted to be a guitarist before a drummer, but I just never really got the opportunity to like hop on a guitar. Um, my friends helped me buy my first drum set, so that's how I got a hold of a drum set. And then I just um, came into a scene called ska, you know, like the backyard ska scene, and I was like, wow. I would always watch the drummers, like low key, like I always did watch the drummers. Yeah. And it was such a challenging thing going from, I started off playing like punk and metal, to playing like such a happy music, you know, ska. So it was challenging, you know, the shift, but that's how I started, yeah. Um, when you started, so like you're saying, you, when you were just kind of like starting to do music by yourself, did you start with a band or you were just like playing drums and you just? Um, well, I started, I started with friends. We were all girls and the dream was we were gonna be an all girl band, like metal, mm. but that in, at those times, there wasn't really too many women musicians. So we thought we had like a freaking million dollar idea. We're like, dude, we're going to be like the only girls, you know? <laughs> sure. We're going to freaking charge a lot of money to play. And like, <laughs> you know, that was the dream. Um, we also wanted to empower like other women, other girls, you know, like, hey, like pick up an instrument type deal. I feel you. Um, so I started off with friends in a metal band. We never really did more than just get together over the summer. Mm. And just, you know, make noise type of deal. But um, I eventually started meeting other people, like other uh, friends, because they knew I was already a drummer, you know. So that's how I started um, exploring other genres. Mm-hmm. And so you went from the from the from the all girl metal band. Where were you guys called? I don't know. I we, we probably never had a name so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what I did last week, so. <laughs> yeah, I asked because, you know, there's always, like, those bands from back in the day. I don't know if you remember the band. Um, well, they're still together, actually, but they're, they, they've they been around for a while. It's the, um, what's the, what's the, what's the uh, Las Cochinas? Oh, yeah, they're so dope. They're a punk oh, band, huh? Yeah, them and yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I actually um, found out about them because a friend of mine went to a show we had at, in a, like a backyard, maybe mm -hmm. like two years ago. Yes. And the bass player was there from Las Cochinas that's friends with one of my friends. So that's how I was like, oh, shit. And yeah. I checked them out and they're actually pretty dope. I feel that. Um, uh, do you remember a group called, it's, um, they're called the Runts? I don't know if you remember them. No, no. The Runts? What do you think of, because uh, you, like, you're saying that your guys' idea was mostly like all, all women type of thing to kind of uh -huh. like, there's a symbolism there, right? Yeah, uh-huh. So what's what's your opinion on like the uh, on like on kind of like the uh, the uh, the the uh, punk scene right now in LA? Because the punk scene right now in LA, I feel like uh, I feel like there's a lot of bands actually that is like is like kind of like representing like you know like women kind of out there. I don't know. You know, I feel now like maybe in the last ten years, there's been way more women just come up, kind of like coming out of their shell. Um, when, like I said, when we started the whole idea, we were teenagers. I was like about 13, 14, and we had no idea. We couldn't really look up to anyone, you know, as far as like women musicians that were like local. I mean, there's always been mainstream, you know, but local, like we didn't know of anyone or anything like that. And from that time to now, I, even me, I, you know, I kept playing after that. Mm -hmm. um, I would say in the last 10 years, it, it has definitely changed. I see a lot more women in backyards, you know, mainstream, front women, drummers, everything. Even yeah. production now, like even like videographers yeah. and sound engineers, like it's just amazing. Yeah, I was going to say um, um, right now, uh, 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 there's, a, there's, there's a punk band in LA. I, I really fuck with them. They call this the, uh, yeah, Generación Suicide, suicida. I think it, I think I have heard of it, Generación Suicida, suicida right? Yeah. Yep. And I, th I think I, I, I have seen some of their work, and I know that they're, like, touring and things like that. So that's amazing. You know, that's awesome, because they're paving the way. Like, anyone that, you know, puts themselves out there against the norm are paving the way on, you know, whatever type of art form they're doing. So I'm always all for it. So, um... It's so all girl band with metal band. What was a punk band? And then how did you move from punk? Well, I guess. Well, well, actually, we were we were trying to experiment with both with metal and punk. So maybe yeah. I didn't explain that right, but yeah, we were basically trying to do both. Oh, yeah. And then um, later on, the the time I also tried doing like an all ska band, uh, chick band as well. But that also we explored a little bit a little bit with punk. So oh, did did did, uh, did you guys have a name with that one? Right uh yeah, I think we we were called uh the cherry bombs, I think. <laughs> cherry bombs? I think so. Right? After a name after the name, yeah, of that song, yeah. I think. But we just had one show and uh, that was it, yeah. I'm trying to remember because I'm I'm like, yeah, cause uh cause yeah, cause cause like usually was just by hearing the name, I, I I like remember just based on No, no, like all the girl brands that I tried being in didn't really like do anything past practice you know and things like that mm. it was always just a dream type of deal okay so so now uh moving from 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 punk and metal into ska like how do you how do you see like uh i guess the uh, the uh, female re like representation do you feel like uh do you feel like the scene welcomes females the same way they 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 they, they welcome males or do you feel like uh, there's like more like a challenge sort of to kind of like? Um, like, what do you mean though? Like, you mean in like, like booking you, shows or getting paid for shows or like, what do you mean? Like, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is more uh, the audience reaction. Cause when I saw you in Riverside, the whole house was like pretty much like partying like to you. You know, um, I haven't really paid attention to things like that, but just feedback from my other fellow musicians or like just, yeah, I guess people that watch other bands as well that are on the same bill. Uh, I have gotten that whole, like, even from other women musicians that play in, in other bands that are, like, mainly male-dominated, she, you know, she told me that she did feel that the audience responded different to me, you know, as a woman that her other band that has a male-fronted band. You know, that's just the feedback that I've gotten. But to me, I don't really think that's something that, you know, it's like, oh, because you're a woman, they'll be more into it. I just really always think it's about, like, 
just the energy, you know, you just kind of carry yourself with type of deal. So I don't know. That's just my opinion, but I'm not sure, to, to be honest. Really? I, feel, I mean, like I said, yeah. when, I, when I saw the uh, the uh, CD release show, uh, I think it was uh, in Joy Scott before you, right? Um, Joy Scott right before you, and then um, yeah, 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 yeah. They were actually pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're dope. And then, and then, and then, and then you guys started setting up, and I don't know where, just like the room was just like full. Everybody, <laughs> I, I think they were playing this the cumbia like during your guys. Uh -huh. I, I mean, uh, during the uh, the uh, the like setup. Uh -huh. We were dancing already, and then you guys started playing, and people. It was just like a big old bit. It was like <laughs> for you guys, and then and then it's the uh, uh, Los Cadejos, I think played after. Like the like like the whole floor was like shaking in Romano. Yeah, they had a really awesome response. So, like I said, I think it all depends on perspective, mm -hmm. um, and maybe the gig. You know what you're what you're doing or what you're you're playing. Yeah. But um, in that aspect, I don't feel any inequality or anything of that. Um, I do feel, um, maybe just like landing a certain gig or, you know, not being, um, uh, by the books type of deal. It is a little different for women. I feel like sometimes people could take advantage of, of us depending on what type of gig or, or what is it that you're doing. And that aspect, I do feel it's a little different. Um, I always do feel like there's some sort of like bro code or something like that, but I'm not really sure, you know? <laughs> yeah. The biggest thing I see most of the time is like, uh, it's kind of like clicks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like there's always like somebody that's like friends with somebody and something like that. Um, I also do feel that as a woman, I do have to work harder somehow to get respect from men. Mm -hmm. And then I think that falls also on like getting gigs and like, being part of like, you know, or acknowledged to be part of like a scene or anything like that. But um, that's just how I feel. I feel that if, um, you know, I, maybe that if I didn't work as hard, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have like that spotlight or whatnot. Yeah. So uh, I'm curious when, when you started playing in in ska bands was was this the uh, Chiles Verdes first band or, or that you that no you no uh, Chiles Verdes was my second ska band my first band was this band called Mente Corrupta yeah. and they were established in 2006 that was like my first official like garage <clears throat> garage band yeah yes. and then I played with them for a few years. I want to say five years. I don't know if it's more than that. And then I met Chiles. Are they still playing? Or, or, or? I don't think so. But I know they want to. I know they might. They might want to come back a few times. There's um, music recorded that was never released. So I always tell them like, hey, it should be released, you know, or, yeah. you know, we actually talked about it being released. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Hopefully. Hopefully it does. At the very least, because I was watching videos the other day of, of uh, Chiles Verdes, and honestly, I never saw you guys, but um, I, I saw a video. I saw two videos that Worldwide Underground did. And oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they were both really good. There was one where it was like a split screen, and then there was one where it was you guys at a festival somewhere. Yeah, she was tight, though. Uh, she was fire. That, um, the, those videos were done by this guy named Bradley, and he was just like, randomly pop out with like his camera and take some dope videos and things like that. He was actually like a close friend of Chiles Verdes and he was just always around. So he got some pretty dope footage. I remember for a minute he was throwing shows and then every show he was throwing, he was like uploading the clips. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty dope, yeah. And when you started playing drums for Chiles Verdes and you started doing your own thing, how did you, did you just start playing drums and then boom you just picked up the guitar or how did you even pick up the guitar like how did you get there to the guitar? um be like in between like mente and chiles verdes i was already